In this video, I want to show you how you can create cross-platform C-Sharp.NET applications for Windows and Linux. We will create a simple C-Sharp.NET project in Visual Studio and I will show you how you can build, run and debug the project on Windows and Linux using WSL or Windows Subsystem for Linux. In addition, I will show you how you can call methods from a C++ library inside the C-Sharp.NET project that was also built for Windows and Linux. In the previous video we created the C++ library and we also built and debugged the library on Windows and Linux. The link to the previous video should be somewhere up there or down in the description. And in this video we will use the created C++ library inside the C-Sharp.NET project again on Windows and Linux. Before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev and software development in general or short Agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. Now let's get over to Visual Studio and let's create the c .net project. Here I started Visual Studio and this is the initial dialog where you can select the recent projects. The only recent project I have is the previously created C++ library from the previous video. We want to create a new c .net project, so let's go to create a new project. And here search for c -sharp. Console application, that's what we want for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So let's go to next. I will call the project test.net. The location is ok. Next. And here we want to use the .NET version 6. In the previous video I also showed you how you can install the needed Visual Studio dependencies like this .NET 6 framework. So if you don't see the .NET 6 framework in this dropdown then you will need to install it. And let's go create. And here we are in Visual Studio. This is a very simple project, it just contains one file program.cs and it just writes hello world to the console and that's it. Now let's see how we can build and run this one on Windows. This should be very straightforward. Actually the default configuration should already work. So the debug configuration is ok, any CPU is ok. And then here your project should already be pre-selected. Let's make a breakpoint on line 2. And let's build and debug. Play. Now we already reached the breakpoint and if we click continue. The application finished and now here in the console we can see hello world. This was written by the application and we are done. We can close this one. Now if we go to the solution explorer and select show all files. Then you should see here the bin folder and debug.net6. And in here is the test.net exe, the executable that we built previously and that we debugged. Let's find this one in the explorer. Right click on it. Open containing folder. And here it is. This was Windows. Let's see how we can build and debug this one in Linux in WSL. Now I will assume that you already have WSL installed on your system and that it is configured. If you don't know how to configure it, then you can check out my previous video. The link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. Back to Visual Studio. It should be straightforward. Just click on this drop down and select WSL. And now if you see the message .NET 6 is not installed in the default WSL distribution, then just click install and the password, let it install. Alright, this should be good to go. Close this. We still have the breakpoint and with WSL preselected, just build and run, play. And again we reach the breakpoint, this time in WSL in Linux. Now let's go over to the WSL console, just open PowerShell and write WSL. Now we are inside WSL, inside the distribution and let's install htop if it isn't already installed and let's run it htop-t. This is htop, a very simple process monitoring tool for Linux and now here we can see clearly the vsdgb debugger is debugging our .NET application test.NET DLL. If we go back to Visual Studio and if we just continue the application finished and down here in the debug console we can see hello world. This was written by the Linux application inside WSL. And again if we look at htop and also here in htop we can see that the debugging session finished. Now in htop we saw that the debugged application was actually this one test.net DLL. So yes you can run the same .NET 6 DLL inside Windows and Linux. Now let's see how we can call methods from a C++ library inside this C-Sharp project. 
As mentioned, we created the C++ library in the previous video and now in this video we will call some methods from the library. Now let's go over to the library project just to see what it is. This is the C++ library project, it contains only one source file and only one header file. The source file contains only three functions, the hello function that writes hello from and then the name of the OS, which will be either Windows or Linux. Then the string func function, which just takes a string as an argument and then just writes hello and the string. Then the function foo func, which gets a foo structure as an argument and then it just writes out the members of the foo structure. And that's about it. Now let's call those methods from the C-sharp project. Now this is the same C-sharp project that we used before. I just changed the source here a bit. As you can see here, we added those three methods. Those three methods will come from the test lib library that I showed you previously. Up here is also the full structure definition that we use in the third method. And down here is the main entry point. Here we just call those three methods and just write to the console hello world as in the previous example. The only thing left is to just reference the library. Since we want to use the C-sharp application on Windows and Linux, we need to reference both versions of the C++ library, the Windows version and the Linux version. To add the Windows version, just right click on the project, go to add, existing item, here change the file filter to all files, and then just navigate to the library's project folder, test lib, and we built it inside the out folder, build x64 debug test lib, and here it is, test lib dll, and add. As you can see here it is, test lib dll, it was added, and down here under properties we need to change copy to output directory to copy if newer. Alright, let's add the Linux version, again right click on the project, add existing item, again change the filter to all files. Now as I have shown in the previous video, the library for Linux was built inside WSL. Now let's find the folder, go to Linux, Ubuntu, and it was built inside my user folder, .vs, testlib, here it is, out, build, linux debug, testlib, and here it is, lib testlib.so. Let's add it, add, here it is, it was added, and again, under properties, change copy to output directory to copy if newer. And that's about it, let's try it out. I will make a breakpoint here, add hello, at the first method call. Let's try it first for Windows. So change this one to test.net and let's start and debug. And we reach the breakpoint, here we are. Now let's step over it by pressing F10 or by pressing this button here. Now we stepped over this one, let's check the command line. And yes, the hello method just wrote hello from Windows. So we know this is from the C++ library. Now let's let it run till the end, continue. Application finished. And this is what was written to the console. So we have hello Oleg, this was written by the string func method, and then the third line was written by the foo func method, which wrote the members of the foo structure, and the last line hello world was written here in C sharp. This was Windows, now let's try this on Linux with WSL. And let's change the platform to WSL. Let's try it out, build and run. Again we reach the breakpoint, this time in Linux. Now let's step over it, the method was executed, and if you switch to output, here you can see the Linux console and it wrote hello from Linux. So this was written by the Linux C++ DLL. Now let's just continue. And then down here we can see the output from the second method, the string func, hello Oleg, and the output from the third method, foo func. And at the end, hello world from C sharp. And that was Linux in WSL. As you can see, C sharp is smart enough to distinguish which library to call. On Windows it calls the native test lib DLL library for Windows. And on Linux it calls the lib test lib so library. Now just to show you inside the build folder, both of those libraries were actually copied to the output folder. And that's why the C sharp application could find those. I need to mention this example was originally written by Oleg Tarasov and I got it from this article. And this article perfectly describes in detail what we just did. It is an excellent starting point if you're starting with cross-platform development. I can only recommend it, so check it out. The link is in the description. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like dev related content, then you can find more on my channel and there is even more to come. So please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.